All right, we are back. Week nine of Bibliophile, a reader's journal. Um, the book this week is called For Common Things. It's the author is Jedediah Purdy. I started the book on 1225, that's right, Christmas Day of 2022, and I finished it today, July 5th of 2024. Super dense. It's like reading Cicero, but in English. Um, not a, it doesn't have to be translated. Um, I rated this book a five stars. It has uh, plot notes, um, irony, trust, and commitment in America today. This book was written, I think, in 1997, published in 1998 or maybe 99. Um, Seinfeld was super big. There was just a lot of mistrust. Um, the political alliances were different in that time. And it's interesting to see his take on how, you know, the age before cell phones, before internet was wi widely available, high speed internet was available. Um, not, uh, there might've been cell phones, but they weren't smartphones. Um, before Google was really a thing, uh, before Barack Obama or Trump or the war on terror, all of this predates or post dates this book. And, some of what he talks about remains, it applies even today. After all of that, it still rings true. Um, character notes, one of the things that I noticed um, that rang true for me was this punctuation that uh, commercialism and communism are systems. Ethics are extraordinary to them. You don't have an ethic to capitalism. It's why when we ask the question why a billionaire can't afford to pay people a living wage, you're making an argument, a moral argument, in an amoral calculation. Um, and your response is to say, well, if you're not going to morally choose to do this, then we need to force you to do it at the point of a gun, or at least at the threat of punishment from the IRS. This guy doesn't say a living wage is a bad idea. He says people should choose to be better. And we should. We shouldn't do it because capitalism rewards us or because communism rewards us. We shouldn't do it for political reasons or um, system reasons. It's not about that. It's about who we are as people and how we try to take care of each other. Favorite quotes, a thousand small changes in our lives will in turn change the communities, even the cultures in which we live. Uh, next one was the full response to despair is not to invoke hope, but to generate it. Um, other books to read by this author, Two Cheers for Politics, After Nature, this land is our land. There are a few others. His name is Jedediah Purdy, P-U-R-D-Y. Um, check him out. It's impressive. He was, I think, still an undergrad when he wrote this. Uh, it was like a couple of years before I graduated from college. This guy's already got a book published. It was remarkable reading. If you haven't seen it, I don't think I showed it to you. This is the book uh, for Common Things. Check it out. It's worth the read. Um, some of this stuff is timeless. And we need, in this environment, in this environment, y'all know what I'm talking about. Wherever you are in the world, we need to read more and read more books like this that'll help us figure out ways to rise above all of the muck that's happening. I firmly believe it. I think some of you do too. Let me know what you think in the comments and uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Take care.